Hello everyone, in this video, we'll be showing you how to use the Invest Urban Cooling model. Similar to the other models, we need to first navigate to the Cities in Nature homepage and find the Invest button on top. Click Invest and the introduction of Invest as well as the details of the four models will appear. Click Data Requirement and you'll see a list of key input that is required to run the invest model. Some of the variables are required, whereas some are optional. For the optional ones, you can choose to enter your own values into invest. If there are any variables that you're not very familiar with, you can check out the glossary section to see the definitions of those variables. When you're ready, you can click the link at the bottom of the table to download all input data. In this case, we need to download the file that is named as Urban Cooling. Central Region is used as an example in this demo. So if you're looking at Central Area or Queenstown, you'll need to download the other corresponding files. Once the zip file is downloaded, make sure you extract all the files before uploading them into Invest because otherwise the model won't work. Once you've extracted all the files, you can start uploading them into Invest. So open Invest and click the Urban Cooling model. Now you can see that the names of the entries here correspond to the names of the folders that you've just extracted. The first entry is Workspace, so you need to find the folder that is named as Workspace and select. And for Land Use and Land Cover, click the folder icon to upload the file that is named as Land Use in TIFF format. For Evapotranspiration, choose the file that is in this name, and there's only one file, upload this file. For area of interest, similarly find the file that is named as area of interest and in this case, select the file in the format of SHP. For biophysical table, this is in the format of CSV. Choose this file and upload. For reference air temperature and some of the variables below, you can see it indicates that a number is required as the input. So if you refer to the data requirement table on our website, there are some suggested values for you to fill up these entries. You can follow the numbers on the website or alternatively you can also enter your own values. Here we are using the values on the website. For Run Energy Savings Valuation, choose Yes. And like what we've done before, for Buildings, choose the file that is named as Buildings inside the folder. There is a file in the format of SHP that you should be selecting. For Energy Consumption Table, it suggests that it should be CSV, so choose the one that is in CSV. For Run Work Productivity Valuation, choose Yes and fill up the numbers accordingly. Check carefully that you've filled up everything before running the model. Once you're done, click Run to run the model. Once it's complete, it will show a model complete sign. Click Open Workspace to view your outputs. In order to view these TIFF files, you need to download QGIS and use QGIS to open. These TIFF files will be under the Urban Cooling folder and inside there should be a workspace folder. Under the workspace folder, you can see the output images. In this case, we've opened Air and you can choose the Properties section to render the picture. You can also choose your label precision. 
Once you've rendered all the files using your desired color combination, you're done and you can discuss the outputs with your teammates. Thank you and if you have questions for the other models, you can check out our other videos.